Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up data upload from Salesforce CRM system to work section. This is necessary to automatically transfer new leads from Salesforce CRM to other systems. For example, in work section, create new tasks every time a lead is added to Salesforce CRM, it is convenient to store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Salesforce CRM data source system. Then you need to select an action, get new leads. At this stage, you need to connect your Salesforce CRM account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you must enter the login and password from your Salesforce CRM account. Next, you should receive a verification code by mail, enter it in this field. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click continue. In this case, there are no additional settings, so just click continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this stage, you see test data for one of your leads in Salesforce CRM, if everything suits you, click next. This completes the setup of the Salesforce CRM data source, now you need to move on to setting up data ingestion. Choose Work section as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action, Create Task. At this stage, you need to connect your work section account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you need to specify the API domain and API key. For this we go to your work section personal account. Copy domain from address bar. Please note that you need to copy domain without extra characters. Next, paste it into the required field in the Apex Drive service. You also need to specify an API key. To do this, go to Work section. Next, go to Account Settings in the Security section. Activate Admin API. And click Show API Key. Enter the password for your Work section account. Copy the API key and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive service. When the required fields are filled in, click Save. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. At this stage, you need to select the project to which data from Salesforce CRM will be transferred. And also fill in the fields with variables. To assign a variable, click on the field and select the required variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can not only add variables, but also enter values manually. Press Enter to move to the next line.
When all the necessary data is assigned, click Continue. At this stage, we see the test data that will be sent to the Work section. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Work section. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive service and continue the configuration. On this, the data reception setup has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto-update. Select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.